Hey, what's up everyone? This is Giorgio, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber slash podcaster. And I know what you're probably thinking. Uh, why did I have the whole 10 ring bells playing at the beginning of this audio? Well, in the wrestling world, whenever a wrestler dies, they always play the uh, ring bell 10 times as a salute and as a sign of respect, you know, to that wrestler and what they brought to the wrestling business. And I felt that that Hannah Kimura, Kimura, and I hope I say her name right. You know, I'm just gonna call her Hannah just so I don't mess up her, you know, last name out of respect. But I played that because I felt that Hannah deserved that, especially after how she died, because it's been a very crazy, rough few days in the wrestling uh, community and slash industry because we lost two pro wrestlers. We lost Shad Gaspard and, um, you know, cause he, you know, he sacrificed his life to save his son's life. And, you know, that one really hit home for a lot of us in the wrestling community. And then we find out uh, just last night, I believe, that you know stardom pro wrestler hannah kamura had died she took her own life due to um these trolls online saying she should kill herself or and you guys know how these 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 online bullies and trolls are you know they'll say anything to try to ruin your day and you know there and, and unfortunately there's a lot of people you know that can't handle those kind of harsh words and criticisms and stuff and unfortunately you know Hannah she couldn't handle it you know because you know and probably in her country she's not used to people talking like that and you know unfortunately when you're in the pro wrestling world if you're a pro wrestler and uh, or if you're just doing any kind of work in the pro wrestling industry you're gonna have you're gonna eventually come across trolls and haters and people with harsh criticisms and stuff about who you are or who, their perception of who you should be and everything and honestly you and as you guys can see from the pictures i'm going to be sharing throughout this episode of uh beyond wrestling you know you're gonna see just the smile that she had on her face and you know the joy and passion that she had for what she did for a living which was being you know which was being a pro wrestler and you know she seems like such a sweetheart now unfortunately i didn't know who hannah Kamara was you know I, I, just like a lot of people I'm sure you know didn't because you know she's a, a Japanese pro wrestler I believe so you know Japanese pro wrestling is only so big here in America of course some people know about New Japan pro wrestling you know it, it's been you know somewhat building up a, a, an audience here in America but that's just only been in the past few years so Hannah, she wrestles for stardom, which is like an all-female wrestling organization, I believe. So, um, and, and from what I could tell, she was very beloved there. She had such an amazing athletic ability, you know, uh, she had a very great marketable character that resonated with a lot of people. It showed strength, it showed happiness you know and you know it it, it, it kind of reminds me a little of bailey because of like how because of her mannerisms and stuff in terms of when bailey was a baby face when she was at the height of her baby face run and hannah kind of gives me a little of those vibes and i know some people may disagree with me and that's fine you know <laughs> but nonetheless um you know hannah just wow you know and she must have recently started getting these crazy hate comments from these trolls online because the thing is, you know, these guys or girls who bully people, you know, they have severe insecurity issues, you know, and so for them to feel better about themselves, they feel the need that they have to go and tear somebody else down in order to, to make it seem like they're all high and mighty when really they're 
a bunch of little whiny little bitches. That's what they are. And forgive me for the language, but how can you not feel pissed off? How can you not feel mad when you see these these cretins on social media trying to attack somebody when in real life they would never do anything like this they would never pull up on nobody in real life because they know what would happen if they came up to somebody in real life and talk shit to them most likely they're to get cussed out and depending on how bad somebody's day is that would be the wrong person they'll want to pull up on because they would get their ass knocked out or worse shot you know we would don't play that kind of stuff but you know Hannah I can tell just from what I've been seeing and the kind words that people have been saying about her on social media um uh, you know she doesn't seem like that negative kind of person she doesn't seem like the person that'll go on social media and post crazy stuff and try to pick out a fight with anybody you know she doesn't seem like that kind of person to me so anyone who so these people who basically tried to target her they knew what they was trying to do they knew what kind of person she was and they knew she wasn't gonna try to fight back and they knew how this would affect her so they wanted wanted to go out of their way to um you know uh, to attack her and um you know and and for me I'm a guy you know who grew up you know getting bullied because of my teeth you know and my smile which my smile is different from everybody else if you all seen any of my videos with me showing my showing my face or you see my pictures on my social media you'll see that my smile is different from everyone else and i didn't always have the best teeth you know my teeth still not perfect and but yeah i got bullied for it every day and it used to really hurt me because you know i didn't have the advantages that a lot of people have nowadays like if someone gets bullied online you usually if people really you know fuck with you like that on a real level they'll come to your defense but back in the day when you know i was growing up you know we didn't if you got bullied you didn't really have that much help you know you really you literally was on your own and um you know and so it really affected me i used to come home crying every single day uh because of it and um but it wasn't until you know i talked to my uh you know my dad he sat me down he was like you know these bullies these bullies are not going anywhere until you confront them head on because back then growing up in the 90s and even the early 2000s and and stuff like that you know you you know like you had to confront bullies uh head on like right there in person you couldn't hide behind any social media you couldn't hide behind anyone because if you didn't confront these bullies in person they will continue to mess with you until you did something about it and yes you could tell the teacher you could tell the principal but that'll only do so much you know that will only do so much because um you know they ain't gonna do anything the bull is gonna still mess with you if, if anything they're gonna come after you even more because they're gonna see you as weak because you went and got somebody else that ain't gonna really help you to try to help you with your issue with them so you know i think as it's important as parents we have to teach you know the kids man how to defend themselves when someone comes at them and we also have to teach people the difference between you know criticism good kind of criticism harsh criticism and people who are just trying to be disrespectful for no reason and if you're going to be in any kind of you know sport uh any kind of form of entertainment or a wrestler a uh, blogger whatever it is you're gonna get hit with criticism and most times when people leave you criticism they have to point out the negatives and and of course the positives and if they're always pointing out the negative negative things then of course you know they try and attack your character but if they're pointing out the negatives and the positives and they give you great helpful solutions on how to fix uh, you know whatever they think was wrong then you shouldn't get mad at that kind of stuff and 
in the pro wrestling world you can always learn and so you know and everyone and of course you got these people on social media you know who have you know they just because they have a few thousand followers they think that their opinion stands ground or it stands as facts when it really doesn't because these kind of people never worked in the wrestling industry on a major level they they haven't worked with countless wrestlers they haven't wrote written for any tv shows so when they say stupid crap it really doesn't have any weight it shouldn't have any power but because it's the online social media world and everyone likes to take that as it is as it just and they it gives them more power you know in the main the main place that I've been seeing online bullying um, all this negative stuff has been Twitter you know Twitter is like the main place that I see this happening and um, and it, and I not like it's like I said, it's like you know, you it's mainly from these people who have these thousands of followers or whatnot, you know, that gives them power because they have a lot of other negative people who are just like them who have their same mindset. And what will happen is when these people with a thousand followers, when they say something crazy or very mean to somebody, or in this case, Hannah Kamura's Kate, you know, face. And they say it about her and when people try to come after them to try to defend uh, Hannah or whoever it is that they're trying to defend, what will happen is these, they will send their little simp followers to come and try to defend them. And, and I've even seen this happen to a good friend of mine um, named Carl, who I talk to all the time on Twitter, where these female streamers will try to bully him if he calls them out on something that they're being wrong about and instead of talking about it like mature adults they'll send their little simp beta male followers to come in, or or their female followers to try to attack him for no reason and i see this all the time i've even had this happen to me um when i was on a female streamers uh youtube uh uh i think it was her youtube channel or whatever or her twitch but nonetheless we were friends and you know i was trying to talk about an issue that her one of her moderators was being disrespectful to me she didn't even do anything about it so she just let me stay there and get attacked by her moderators and then these and her other followers and i'm just like man really you know and and so like i said man you know, Hannah Kamara, she didn't deserve this to happen to her. And, um, you know, it, it, and I know a lot of people, they don't like these long-winded videos, but I feel like we need to talk about this bullying, online bullying situation in depth. And I'm just a small podcaster slash YouTuber. I can only do so much, but I can't call myself a wrestling podcaster and not speak about, you know, this issue. And, um, you know, justice does need to be served. I made a tweet on, uh, on Twitter earlier, you know, where I was talking about, we need to start holding anti-bully seminars and they need to be free it don't need to be any kind of profits you know because a lot of nowadays you know with this uh virus that's going around this pandemic everyone's trying to make a quick buck and if you're going to, if we're going to conquer this bullying problem we need to um we need to do it like whenever you know whenever we're allowed to go back into public spaces and all of that we need to do that like that and where people can get the microphone and they can talk about whatever kind of issues they're having and we could do it online but i guarantee you if we do this uh anti-bullying campaign thing online there's going to be a lot of people whose questions and stuff are going to get missed over. They're not because, you know, it's going to be tons of people asking questions. So you're going to miss somebody, you know. So that's why I think these anti-bullying 
uh, rallies and stuff, they need to be held in person. And you can hold them in major cities where people can travel. Like, if, if you know, like, because if you can hold them in like the, the big time major cities of America, people can make a like a three or four hour drive if it means them getting help in person, you know. And you can have like a medical. I mean, you know, mental health professionals, you can have psychiatrists on hand to help them, you know, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? And like, and the thing is, if you wanted to charge for this kind of event, you could charge like maybe $10 per person, but honestly, it should be a free thing and it should be where people can feel comfortable enough to talk about it. And, you know, with that being said, also, um, you know, and since this episode is about a uh, Hannah, you know, I want to talk about, you know, some of her accolades because I'm sure, you know, she has some on the um, internet and I wanted, I just, I had to talk about the, the, you know, the big point of this issue that's going on in the online wrestling community and in social media in general. So, um, let's see what, uh, what other things have, you know, Hannah Kamara have done in her amazing career. Cause I'm pretty sure she's just getting started. And I think if she would have been alive, she would have went on to do even more bigger things. Okay. So, um, I'm looking at, um, at her uh you know wikipedia because hey i where else am i gonna go to find out information about her awesome you know wrestling career and come to find out you know um her mother is actually a famous uh pro wrestler in japan and her mother went by the name of kyoko kamira so that's pretty dope you know, so she does have some form of a background, you know, I mean, her family has some kind of stake in the wrestling world and everything. And of course, you know, Kamira, she uh, debuted in 2016. So she only been wrestling for what, a few years now. So, wow, you know, uh, that's just crazy to think you know and she's on and the thing is you know she's only 22 and at you know and she hadn't even hit the height of what she could do in the wrestling world and um and of course according to now let's look at her accomplishments uh she was a part of the dramatic dream team she won the iron man heavy metal weight championship one time uh and then of course on the uh no uh, another award like she did the jwp joshi parisho and it was the she won the princess of pro wrestling championship one time she did the uh the junior she won the japan wrestling uh junior championship one time she won the jwp junior title tournament 2016 um she won the jwp princess of pro wrestling tournament in 2016 as well and then of course in pro wrestling illustrated which is one of the most decorated pro wrestling magazines in the world uh she ranked number 60 of the top 100 female wrestlers in the pwi women's 100 in 2008 18 i mean and then she ranked number 61 of the top 100 female wrestlers in the PWI, you know, women's 100 in 2019. And I think, you know, if Hannah would have been, you know, alive, you know, I think she would have ended up getting higher numbers on that list. I truly do believe that. And of course, that all is due to exposure in America. And I really do hope that maybe we can see these stardom uh, Japanese female wrestlers in America. We can see them appear more. We can, and you know, even if it's through YouTube or Twitter or some form of social media, you know, hopefully we can see some of them in like AEW uh, or, you know, uh, NWA, National Wrestling Alliance, because they have their show, ROH. 
you know we can see them do some deals with them um and, and i know not everyone can go everywhere and not everyone can go to the big wrestling promotions because they can only sign so many people but I would love to at least in Hannah's honor that we will see, you know, stardom presented on a more global level. And that of course means we gotta raise interest in the Japanese female wrestling and just Japanese wrestling in in general. We need to have them showcased more in America and get fans to be interested. You know what I'm saying? And of course, and world wandering stardom, you know, she won the Artist of Stardom Championship two times with Jungle Kayana and Konami and Kajisho, and of course with uh, Kikio Kamura, which is her mom, which is really, really impressive. And then she won the Goddess of Stardom Championship one time with Kajisto. I, I know I missed the name up. Um, also, she won the five star GP in 2019. She won best tag team award in 2017 with Kajisto Kajishu. I think I think that's how it is. And then, of course, she won the fighting spirit award in 2019 and stardom. So, you know, if you really look at it, just in the short time that you know Hannah was in pro wrestling, you know over there she achieved quite a bit of stuff she really did and that's just so amazing and just to, and just because and i hate that she had to take i hate she had to take her own life because of this craziness and you know because of these trolls and everything man because a lot of times you know these trolls are just they're jealous they have no talent their only talent well actually they do have a talent their only talent is they stay on social media 24 7 talking crap to people that in real life would knock them out and they their only talent is spreading negative uh bs you know and and the thing is these kinds of people like mental brain cells you know and they couldn't Hannah, she has more talent in her one pinky finger than all of these crappy trolls combined. And I'm telling you, man, uh, I know some people aren't religious, but there is a karma for people who do evil stuff like what they did, like what they said, you know, to Hannah. And these people, I'm telling you, they may think they're getting away with this, but if I was them, I couldn't sleep at night knowing that I was the reason someone took their life or I was the reason someone had a really bad day like I couldn't go to sleep at night and not try to fix that problem like you know and I'm just saying whoever these people are you know I'm just saying you you better watch out because uh man you're not gonna have any luck you're not gonna have any luck and you know and another thing is like i i, I want to touch on this just so i can just so we can be clear there's gonna be things that we don't like in pro wrestling and i do feel that there is ways to have civil conversations about those dislikes if we have solutions for those things that we dislike if we have like some cool ideas to replace some of those things we don't like then that's fine because there are gonna be things that we don't like it's so and there is a way that we can discuss these things and do it in a mature adult way i just had um and speaking of which i just had a conversation the other day with someone about what jim Cornette had said about you know becky lynch pregnancy and everything and you know and i basically said i don't think jim Cornette said anything to in a way to try to disrespect becky lynch you know or self rollins i think he was speaking from a promoter's mindset and i had someone who disagreed with me but then once i explained to them why i felt that way why i took jim Cornette's side on that situation they was like wow you know they 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 actually understood my reasoning in ford and um we had a, a civil um 
conversation about it and we didn't have to call each other names and everything now i do get people who do call me names and you know, or they'll say they'll get little attitudes but it doesn't bother me because i've dealt with this kind of stuff before and also i know being a youtuber being a podcaster there's gonna be haters man and that's just one of the things you're gonna have to learn you got to learn how to deal with and i know some people like oh i don't have to learn how to deal with it but you have to because in real life you gotta be able to learn how to discern when these people are actually trying to help you when they're just trying to take you down and once you've met a bunch of them and you know you let them know that hey you can say whatever you want it's not gonna stop my hustle it's not gonna stop me from trying to do what i'm trying to do and you know and the thing is online we have choices we have choices at the end of the day because not a lot of us are fortunate to have a bunch of followers who are going to defend us if someone attacks us online more specifically in real life a lot of us don't have those options i sure as heck don't and thing is or and if we do they probably gonna come they probably ain't gonna see it until later on it's gonna be too late so we gotta learn how to deal with these people and i will be posting an image of the suicide hotlines at the end of this if you're looking looking at the youtube version and everything but and i know this episode has went on a little bit too long i didn't intend for this to be a a really long video but i wanted to talk about this in depth you know but the thing is though like the suicide hotlines can only help so much you know it, at some point we gotta teach people how to deal with these people and if they're gonna be on if there's online bullies if you see somebody talking crap to you you have the option to block them you know you have the option to block them and it's that easy <laughs> as soon as you click the bo block button they're gone that's it or you can respond in a way that says hey you can say what you want about me but it's not gonna ruin my day and you say hey uh i'm sorry you feel that way i hope that your day gets better and i wish you the best in life that's all you gotta tell them and you just keep sending that to them each time that they say something stupid to you and eventually they'll leave you alone and if they don't like i said you can block them you know because like i said these people they're these trolls their words only have as much value as you give them and you know and of course like in real life if somebody comes up to you you can either cuss them out and they keep getting close to you or they touch you you have every right to knock their ass out you know there's i mean and that's just the way it is and and the thing is a lot of people don't feel comfortable talking uh, to a suicide hotline believe it or not so the first place they're gonna run for help is online and sometimes they don't have that so we got to be able to say hey you know this is how you should deal with this and better yet if you've experienced any bullying tell them your stories you know tell them how you overcome it and really at the end of the day the only way you can overcome bullying and any kind of fear is you have to face it head on and that's just the way it is i hate to say it like that but that's what i had to do and eventually the bullying stopped once they see that their words and actions can't harm you they will eventually leave you alone and if they don't like i said you can block them or in real life knock their ass out <laughs> but nonetheless you guys uh I, I appreciate you listening in on this however long that you did listen to it and um, it was an honor to talk about Hannah Kamara and this story behind this. And I hope that this motivates people. And uh, and I hope that you all will tune in to future episodes of Beyond Wrestling. I might start doing these a little bit more frequently so I can be a little bit more consistent. But anyways, you all, please be safe out there. Watch out for each other and just be nice you know be kind and and i know people say uh you know, people have their 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 freaking notions or whatever about nice guys and nice girls but i'm telling you kindness is attractive at the end of the day just know when to speak up for yourself because when you speak up for yourself people will respect you in the dope and the people that talk shit about you they will respect you too because they know they can't fuck with you 
Anyways, I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace out.